Hello everybody, my name is JGK2 and welcome to another TMA Let's Talk About. Today we are going to be talking about the Scout, one of the very many mercenaries that you can play in Team Fortress 2. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some of his attributes, some of his strengths, some of his weaknesses, and some of his weapons and different types of uh, weapons and loadouts that I like to use. As a quick disclaimer though, I am not the best at aiming, so there's probably going to be a few shots where you guys don't see me hitting all of my shots. So please ignore every miss and just act like I hit every shot. Anyways, let's talk about the scout real quick. He is one of the weaker classes in the game, having only 125 health. However, he does have many attributes. One of his main attributes that many new players will first notice is his speed. I couldn't tell you the exact rate that he moves faster than everybody else, but it's definitely noticeable. Something else that most people will notice is that he has the ability to double jump. So that means that combined with his speed, he makes him a very mobile character, allowing him to be able to get to very high places and very strange places very quickly without me having to trade off a lot of his more powerful weapons for weaker weapons, unlike a lot of the other classes in the game. Um, he also has the ability to capture points twice as quickly. Right here, you see me playing capture the flag, so I'm not exactly capturing the point, I'm actually kind of more defending the point. But anyway, here, you guys are going to see a few weapons in use, right? Uh, the first attempt you saw that was a horrible failure was my Sandman, which I'll explain later. Then you saw the pistol firing into a heavy. The heavy has got a lot of health, so that makes it very difficult for me to be able to kill him with the pistol, which is a low damaged weapon but it fires quickly and then you've also got the scatter gun which is of course a very high damage but lower firing rate which is it kind of acts similar to a shotgun with a very tight spread right here you see me strafing around a soldier blocking off his aim and not always hitting him but hitting him enough that he goes down pretty quickly um, some of the main attributes of the scout to be able to get an advantage over your opponent is just to don't stop moving. As you can see here, I'm not hitting the broad side of the barn with this guy. But he can't hit me, and he hasn't hit me yet. So right here, I no decide, okay, stop moving a little bit, and I'll start hitting him. But uh, because of that, I start getting cornered, and I barely get off with the kill. Uh, right here, you see me using the Sandman as an offensive weapon, not smacking the guy down in the face. And here in a little bit, he'll be leaving the game, but don't worry about that. That'll be a different video. Um, my f Now, the, the Scout does not come equipped standard with the Sandman. What the Sandman does, it allows you to hit um, right-click to be able to hit, uh, sh launch a baseball at your enemies and if it's a big target or actually if it's any size target it'll stun them making them completely invul uh, completely vulnerable to your scattergun attacks which it's very useful for attacking heavies and stuff right here you see me creating some um, chaos by not really killing anything but I'm running around dodging bullets and oh, but not really backstabs but I'm causing chaos this is another one of the main points of the scout is to be able to cause chaos. Um, right here the, scat the sentry gun goes down and I go in to try to kill the engineer. He does get me in the end but I'm able to prevent him from getting a sentry gun up and you'll also see that the next bit right here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you like the video make sure you click, click like, subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.